way to start the week off without any deer in the picture, but ducks, fog rising off of Twin Eagle Lake, beautifully calm, more ducks, lots of ducks, big ducks, and they're close to the bank, having a great time. The sun rising back in the east, not quite up yet, but kind of a nice morning sunset, beautifully calm, absolutely fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. The ducks are enjoying the water. The water's about 44 degrees right now. It warms up and it cools down. It warms up and it cools down. No deer in the picture yet this morning, but there is frost on the pumpkin. Yes, sir, plenty of frost out there. Just another great way to start Another great day and another week right here on beautiful Twin Eagle Ranch. What an absolute beauty. I mean, what an absolute beauty. We're getting very, very close, very, very close to not being able to see any antlers for a while until they start growing back. This guy is holding on to his for a long time. I've zoomed in all I can there. I'm gonna to try to hold it as steady as I possibly can. I'm just simply holding it. You see his hawks are still really dark there, so he would probably play if he could find a lady to play with. He's just absolutely gorgeous. I believe he's six by six. He maybe is just a six by five, but I think he's got extra stickers out there that count. See how black his hawks still are there? Just absolutely gorgeous. What a beauty. What an absolute beauty. You can see right there, you see them out in the woods. Oh, oh, there's some horns. How do they always manage to stop with those horns behind the tree? They do that out when you're hunting a lot too. Oh, and there he goes. Take a look at us over here. You know where he's going? He's going to the alfalfa pile. Now, alfalfa's under that little shed there to the left and the awning there, and that's where he's going. He's going to go over there and have a little alfalfa for breakfast before I get out there and feed him. Gosh, he's a pretty deer. It'd be nice for him to lose those beautiful six by six antlers in the alfalfa pile. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> he's cautious but he likes it here too you better go on over there and get you some I don't know I think I'll back out and go around I think I'll go around what a beauty is that picturesque oh my goodness oh my goodness Okay, buddy boy, come here. Come here. Oh, you're over there eating the food, aren't you? How about some of this? How about some of this? You haven't had a carrot in several days. Oh, my goodness, Jimmy, that is really good. Looks to me like you don't have any nubbins going back yet. Oh, my goodness, give me carrots, Jimmy. I'm going to get right up here in your lap. Oh, those are so good. <laughs> I've got a few more over here. I don't have a lot. I need to buy some more here. You're hearing those dogs wanting to come out, don't you? It says, I'm a carrot machine. You gotta save some of these for split ear. He says, You get me with split ear, and we'll have a little split ear for us, baby, next year. You are eating them up a storm, aren't you, buddy? I'm eating, Jimmy. I am really eating carrots. One at a time. One at a time. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. Okay, I'm going to give you two more. And then I got to go throw feed for everybody else. You got a crowd together out here this morning. All right, that's enough. Look you there. 
There's Thunder Chicken right there. <clears throat> and you look out there, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You count four, so it'd be twelve. You like carrots? There you go, buddy. Take carrot. Oh, listen at him. He's talking. Gonna go over and see. Oh, he's gonna eat the carrot. He took a peck at it, but he didn't get it. That carrot's pretty big for you, isn't it, Thunder? Huh? Huh? Well, he didn't eat the carrot. Okay. All right, guys, here I come. Y'all just be patient. Thunder Chicken, you sure are pretty out here. Okay, guys, here we go. You hear Thunder Chicken talking just a little bit? Not much. Won't be long till he'll be gobbling pretty hard. That little baby over there with that knot, I'm afraid we're going to lose her. And there's the big 12-point out there. Still has his horns this morning. Every day I expect him to have one or none. He still has them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is what I'm seeing. Yeah, thirteen is what I'm seeing. Yeah, it is incredibly beautiful today. We have, uh, hi, baby. Hi there, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? That's a little bucky. He looks like he's only going to have one horn. Is that possible? He's got a little nubbin there, but not much of a nubbin. That's a pretty little girl right there. You're a beautiful little girl. And you, I think, are supposed to be in the pen. I think you are an escapee. She said, I'm not an escapee, Jimmy. I come to live here. I want to live out here with you. I don't want to live in there. Because I think that Bazooka is your boyfriend, or not Bazooka, but Whitey. And I think, <laughs> look at Thunder Chicken, how close he is. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. I mean, he come right up here. I mean, he's right here. <laughs> look at him. Look at those colors. Look at those colors in the sun. Look at this. Look at this. My goodness, my goodness. There's a 12 point, he is very, very close. He will not come up. A lot of people suggested that might be Milburn. I really doubt it. I actually was walking out in the woods a couple days ago and found that little bit of orange tape. Some of you remember we, had, we wrapped orange tapes around Milburn's antlers to keep him from getting shot maybe as he ran out and chased those. And, uh, and we, I found that piece of tape. Now, there was no, there was no antlers around. There was no, you know, he didn't just lose them. And they, there, there was no antlers at all, none. There was uh, no bones, no body, no Milburn. Uh, you know, so I don't know really how that tape got there. I would probably, he just scraped it off, rubbing on trees and stuff. It wasn't really too far from the house here, so. And I don't know, could that be Milburn? I think if it was, he'd come up here and see me. I just really believe he'd come on up here. But he's beautiful. Whomever he is, he's a dandy. Come on, babies. Come on in here. Come on in here, babies. The wind's blowing a little bit this morning, but it's not too bad. Maybe we won't have too much wind noise in there. We've got four labs down here right now, so the deer are a little skittish with all the labs running around, but here they come running. Here they come a running. And way out there I see I see another mystery solved for today. Twelve point is still twelve point. <laughs> He's not a six or a, a nothing. He's still a twelve point. He's coming in out there. Larry's got his dogs here and Bella's here. And so we've got we got uh a little buck bunch come in there. A couple little bucks, three little bucks, and one little doe, a big doe. And here comes more. Here they come a running. <laughs> Somebody commented in the comment section that uh, wonder how many times you go out in the woods to deer hunt, and uh, you 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 hunt and you don't see any any deer, and you wonder how many are around close that you just don't see. Well, and and he, he commented that you can walk out here and look in the woods for. A couple two or three hundred yards away 
As we can see probably about 300 yards over there to the other side of the road and there's no deer around anywhere and yet uh, you start talking and making noise and they know what you're fixing to do and the deer start showing up. And he wondered how many times you go to the woods where you are actually close to deer and never know it. Can I tell you it's quite a bit. That's TC over there. No antlers starting to even show up again. The little the only ones is a little nubbin, little nubbin bucks, the little yearling bucks. In the forest. Many of you commented he looks like a girl. And he does. <laughs> Boy says, y'all hush up. Don't be talking about me that way. But Mr. TC, Mr. Big Deer there, he's exactly the same. He looks like a girl also. The only one that does is 12 point and he's hanging on. Just look at that out there. Zoom in on him a little bit here this morning. He is hanging on big time. So pretty. Why don't you have those horns drop right here where I can find them, buddy? Not have to walk all over the woods. So pretty. Little hawks are still black. I don't think he's got any willing ladies around. I'm a pretty boy right there. Hi right there. Hi right there, Forrest. The girls are not thinking you're too handsome right now. They say you look like a girl. You'll show them, won't you, buddy? Somebody's predicting he'll be a 12-point. That's a good possibility, six by six. We'll see. Speaking of a 12-point, look at him there. He's up really, really close. Are you Melbourne? Are you Melbourne? His face doesn't really look like Melbourne. Are you Melbourne? No, he said, I'm not Melbourne. I'm 12-point. I'm 12-point. Yeah. He's really like a main frame, main frame eight with stickers. He said, I'm getting a little too close to you, Jimmy. I better back off a little bit and stiffen my legs up. You better get up here if you want something to eat, boy. That's all I'm telling you. What a beautiful way to start the day. <laughs> you need a new collar, buddy. While well, you don't have any antlers on, I'll get you one. Yes, I will. We have a beautiful spring morning. It just feels like springtime out here, even though it's February. We have a lot of we have a lot of uh, a lot of cloud cover this morning, and that's one reason it feels like it feels like uh, spring for sure. And so, I am going to see if I can get some deer to run up here. I like I love to watch them run up. This is always cool when to watch them run up in the mornings. So I'm going to kind of check some of that out. Throw some stuff out here and see if I can't get them, get some of them going. Uh, oh, they hear me. They hear me talking. They hear me talking. I'm going to watch and see what, I'm going to watch and see what happens here. <laughs> there they come running. Look at them coming running from quite a few different directions. Actually, just one direction I see them coming running from. I see one, two, three, four. I see another one way off out there in the distance, be five. And uh, hi there, baby. Hi there, baby doll. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the does right there that uh, <laughs> was involved in the great escape. And she's decided that she likes it out better. So we have not been able to get her back in and may not be able to get her back in. I don't really know. But we'll see what happens there. Uh, we haven't had many come around yet. Today is uh, forecast to be around 80 degrees. I will video the next two or three days also a little bit out here and see what goes on. We're supposed to be tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be around 40 something in the morning. Well, here comes. Let's turn that around a little bit right there. It may not be quite level. Lower that down a little bit there. There comes uh, Mr. 12 point in. Not really, there must not be too many around close. It's very early in the morning. Here comes Mr. 12 point out there. I got a little bit of look at him because he's not going to come up real, real close. Kind of lean in there just a little bit. There we go. There he is. He's coming in closer and closer every day. Come on, Milburn. Are you Milburn? Are you Milburn? 
No, I'm not Milburn. Right, Milburn's kind of a good name though, I'll take it. If you have to come in here and put your head up on my chest to be Milburn. And that uh, one kind of raggedy looking doe right there, I think is another escapee. Well, maybe not, that doe doesn't have a tag at all. So that is a totally wild doe there. That one kind of looks a little ragged. That second one right there has got this little white looking stuff on her hair. Uh, I don't see a tag in that deer's ear at all. Uh, sure can't. So I think that deer is just simply a wild deer. One that's not been born in the pen, but born in the wild. And there comes Mr. 12 point walking around. Jimmy, you gotta remember to put the lid back on that feeder now. I thought maybe a few more deer than this, but it looks like only a half a dozen's up here. That's all that showed up. But old 12 point, he's not going very far away, I hope, because I can come out here and start talking and he comes up pretty quickly. So he should lose those antlers relatively close. So I should be able to find them, I hope, when I start antler searching. Now a little antler searching so far, but I haven't had any luck at it. But, uh, and we still have a few more that we're seeing around the ranch that still have their antlers left. So, so it's not, not happening yet. He sure wanted to come up here and get him some breakfast. Well, come on up here and get you some breakfast. It's cloudy, a slight chance of rain, but it's actually supposed to be near 80 today, maybe even getting to 80. And uh, we're gonna be videoing all day is what we're gonna be doing. Pat's on his way down here and we're hoping to get a little sunshine, but we can video with the cloud cover, that's fine. Don't think we'll really get to fish hardly at all, if, if at any, but we are going to Got quite a few videos and a few television commercials we need to shoot, a couple television commercials we need to shoot. So it's gonna be a really, really busy day. I have a lady coming to stay with Chris a little bit today, it's her first day, so we'll see. Hopefully she enjoys it and hopefully we enjoy her. And uh, hopefully we'll have somebody to, to stay with Chris a little bit and help her so I can do a little bit more running around filming, personal appearances and stuff like that. So that's uh, that's exciting to see how that works out. Hopefully that works out good. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Look at that big boy. He is just something special. He's gonna look like a girl one of these days pretty soon. He may go uh, clear into March. I've seen him in, in turkey season with antlers, particularly in South Texas. I don't know if I've seen them here in Oklahoma, but I've seen them in, in South Texas in April with antlers. So it might be a while before he, before he actually loses his. It looks like this is all we got this morning. 246 showed up. There will be more, but these guys can have them a little, little feast out here this morning. 246, that's it. All right, buddy, talk to y'all later. Y'all enjoy.